Yeah, well, I think first and foremost, it's it's well overdue. You know, when I look at the Department of Department of Public Instruction, you know, it ebbed and flowed over the years. My father used to work for th that back in the 80s as the director of Indian Ed at that time, and um, then it just went away. And uh, fortunate now with uh, Superintendent Basler and now with Lucy uh, at the helm, you know, it's obviously changed. It's grown. Um, it's created much opportunity. And in regards to the essential understandings, you know, this is something that's a really, really big deal that has been talked about by tribal leaders for a long time. Like, we need this, we need this, you know, we need this curriculum in our public schools. And, and finally, it's here, and it's taken some time. But so it, it's across the state. Um, obviously, every tribal community is different um, on how they talk about their stories, their treaties, uh, their culture, and, um, and so forth. So every tribe will be different in that sense, and uh, DPI has done a great job of, of, of identifying that and making sure those stories are correct and uh, the, the history is correct. Um, but when you talk about mainstream North Dakota, you know, uh, the cities and just the counties and so forth, um, you know, this is a huge opportunity to, to finally learn the true history of our people, you know. And I think when our, in our underserved communities, <clears throat> whether they're tribal or non-tribal, you know, now you're talking about identity. You know, now you're talking about uh, stereotypes. You're talking about what Hollywood did to us, you know, um, portraying us in a very negative way and not talking about the positive things about what the word Dakota means, you know, Lakota means, you know, and what, uh, <clears throat> what the names of, you know, Lake Sakakawea means, you know, the city of Mandan. I mean, people just kind of, it kind of goes in one ear and out the ear, but those are really, traditional names of, of our people and who we are and um, but that's not in our history books you know it's not that's not being taught uh, you know fully like it should be in our public school systems so in a way I've always thought that growing up um, I felt like I was cheated in learning the true history in a school setting you know fortunately again my my parents my grandparents taught me the true history of our people, of my relatives, but we don't do that in the schools until now. And so this is a big deal. Um, and ultimately, I think, I really feel strongly that, <clears throat> you know, it's gonna relate to a stronger identity of who we are. You know, more, um, more pride in the fact that, uh, you know, God made you who you are. You know, creator, you know, created something beautiful. And um, how, how, how good is that, you know? That's a blessing. And then on top of that, I think it's just, uh, I go back to the, the misunderstandings of who we are, you know, and that we're not who, who Hollywood said we were, you know. Because I, I, think, I think overall in history, our people, my people, have been the most documented, most written about, most photographed than any other ethnic group in America. But a lot of that was done by somebody else. It was always an angle to it. Well, the true angle is, is now here with this essential understanding. It's, it's, it's the true story. And to me, that's, that's, that's such a, a wonderful thing to, to be part of.